The latest assessment report by global climate scientists says that extreme climate occurrences are now indisputably linked to human behavior and not natural causes. It adds that some of these climate change phenomena might be irreversible. These occurrences come in the form of heat waves, droughts, floods and thinning of glaciers. The report, titled Climate Change 2021, from the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, also says that the recent climate extremes are unprecedented in thousands of years. The IPCC, in its sixth assessment report, estimates that the planet's warming level under all growth scenarios will touch 1.5 degrees Celsius. The report shows that emissions of greenhouse gases from human activities are responsible for approximately 1.1 degrees Celsius of warming since 1850 to 1900. It also says that averaged over the next 20 years, global temperature is expected to reach or exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius above normal range. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has described the report as a code red for humanity. The report has specific implications for India. The IPCC has made a stronger-than-before case for immediate cuts in global greenhouse gas emissions. For New Delhi, this could translate into increased global pressure to agree to a net-zero target. So what are the steps that India could take to reduce its emissions? A new study on India's decarbonization strategy, authored by former Planning Commission Deputy Chairman Montek Singh Luwalia, and CSEP Associate Fellow Utkash Patel might have some suggestions. Ahluwalia and Patel posit that since technology now allows a shift from fossil fuels to renewable energy, it should be possible to pursue development without increasing emissions. According to them, an ideal decarbonization strategy requires action on three fronts. The first involves raising energy efficiency to reduce the total energy requirement of GDP. The second requires switching from fossil fuels to electricity wherever possible. And the third involves generating electricity from renewable sources. They also suggest an India strategy for COP26. They point out that existing studies suggest that India could propose a peaking target of 2040 and a long-term target of reaching net zero around 2070. India could also propose peaking of thermal capacity before 2030 and subsequent reduction to some fraction of its peak level by 2040. However, these commitments should be conditional on global commitments to provide long-term finance for covering a substantial portion of the $150 billion per year additional investment needed in the energy sector in India. We also have Business Standards Jyoti Mukul with us to delve deeper into the matter of what the government needs to do going ahead. Indian government works, needs to set a target for the country of being carbon neutral. Now, globally, companies and countries have announced 2030, la largely they have announced 2030 as their target. And as the report mentioned, the, uh, the threat of uh, warming by 1.5 degrees centigrade is by 2040. So 2030 seems to be a good uh, uh, you know, deadline in the sense that a decade earlier you should be carbon neutral. Now, by the way, carbon neutral does not mean that you are reducing your carbon uh, uh, footprint. You are basically, uh, you know, uh, not increasing your carbon footprint. So therefore, you will have one decade more to actually try and reduce your carbon footprint. So therefore, 2030 appears to be a good deadline for everyone to follow. And I, I, I believe in, in the Prime Minister had also mentioned some time back that India would be carbon neutral. But officially, there is no deadline yet for India because it has to convince its industry, it has to come up with policies. Now, from a, from a, a generally speaking, you know, government may not need to invest anything to be uh, carbon neutral by 2030. All the investments can be done by the companies. And uh, what government needs to do is to make, uh, create awareness at the public level uh, at the corporate level, uh, engage with uh, with the people more to to adopt environment friendly ways. Now, uh, traditionally, uh, we have been a very environment friendly society, but over 
uh, over the years we have a complete disregard uh, in our uh, individual behaviors for being um, you know uh, more environment uh, friendly now is what i observe the use of plastic has gone up the use of uh, vehicles have gone up wastage of electricity often takes place so those are the kind of awarenesses awareness uh, programs which the government uh, can do one second it needs to incentivize industries that are the companies which have announced 2030 as their deadline so say if uh, say so if uh, uh, tata power has announced 2030 or reliance is announced 2030 then there should be some incentive for uh, uh, for these uh, corporates because they are moving to that 2030 so first you decide a national target then you target a dead, uh, dead, deadline then you incentivize the industry and then you uh create awareness simultaneously so of uh, broadly speaking you can leave everything to the industry to do all you have to do is to incentivize to a small tax cut or uh, any other scheme which where you from you know which which you make uh, you know, accessible to companies that are working towards these target and uh, at the other end uh, you spend uh, some advertising money or some uh, outreach programs on being environment friendly the other thing which the indian government needs to do is tighten its environment norms clearly we are one step away from falling off the cliff all available data science and knowledge are pointing towards the same conclusion the time for action is now India too will have to do its bit. However, only time will tell if the country will be able to strike a balance between its development goals, climate justice and emission reduction. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.